Situationships almost always involve a partner that is emotionally unavailable and very likely to be a severe avoidant. Avoidance fear commitment, but they largely fear it within an emotionally available, healthy partner that shows them consistent love and affection. This is because the healthy partner is emotionally available. They are emotionally vulnerable for the avoidant. So the avoidant feels an unspoken pressure to be vulnerable and available in return for the healthy partner. The commitment label would signify that they would have to be open to this person, that they would have to let that person in, that they would have to be vulnerable for this person. That is scary. The avoidant has learned to associate emotional intimacy with abandonment. This is the result of having parents or caretakers that were emotionally neglectful. The avoidant did not have their emotional needs nurtured or met as a child. This caused them to feel unlovable and they associate emotional intimacy with abandonment. They build a castle wall around their heart and the fear is if the healthy partner gets behind that wall, the healthy partner is going to figure out that they are in fact too good for the avoidant, that the avoidant is in fact unlovable and the healthy partner is going to reject and abandon the avoidant. So the avoidant keeps that wall up as a way to protect themselves. They don't want to let this person in because that's scary. It'll lead to abandonment. So keeping the commitment label away helps keep the avoidant safe. They can keep that wall up because they're not committed to this person. Now, on the other hand, the same avoidance that fear commitment can easily commit to a toxic partner. And this is because a toxic partner is emotionally unavailable themselves. So there's no pressure for the avoidant to be emotionally available or vulnerable in return for the toxic partner, since a toxic partner is not emotionally available or emotionally vulnerable for the avoidant. That makes the relationship with the toxic partner feel safe. It makes it feel easy to the avoidant because they don't have to put effort in and they don't have to be vulnerable for this person. Plus, the toxic partner is nothing all that special. So the avoidant feels like this is what they deserve and there's no fear of abandonment from somebody that's not all that special. But there is a fear of abandonment from somebody who is special. There is a fear of abandonment from somebody who treats the avoidant well. Avoidance fear abandonment from somebody that can actually make them feel things which is why it's scary for them to commit to somebody who genuinely loves them, that is open to them, that is emotionally available, open and vulnerable. That frightens them. And if emotional intimacy grows too largely, they can shut down, deactivate, take their feelings for their partner, suppress them, and completely run away and discard a healthy partner. But with a toxic partner, the avoidant feels emotionally safe, there's no pressure, the relationship feels easy, and they can quickly put an official commitment onto the toxic partner in a way that they're just too afraid to do with a healthy partner. 